Greetings my YouTube family, it's me, Kwesi Asante a Japan of King Coconut Photography and I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to 2022. I know I've been away for some time but hey, I am back and this is officially the first video of 2022 so stay tuned, I have a lot of amazing content to share with you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take this opportunity to and turn on the bell icon so anytime I put up a new video, you will be notified. So I've got a very special free video to share with you guys today. Some of you guys have been asking me actually how I get my images to look very clean and how I get my white to be more whiter if, if that's actually a word but you guys know what I mean. So in this today's video I'm going to share with you how I can make that happen, all that magic and all you need is Lightroom. So grab your laptops, open to Lightroom. Let's get this edit started. See ya! So I have here with me a very beautiful picture of my friend Sebastian and his very 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 delightful wife Melvina a traditional marriage of theirs I shot in December beautiful couple and um, by all standards um, so I shot this on Canon ERS R as you can see from from the information up and I also used the Sigma 51.4 art lens all the settings are up here if you would like to see this is straight out of camera raw image and then i'd like to run you through a simple edit to get this images to pop and what helps this image first and foremost is that it has a lot of whites already in the image as you can tell so let's start but basically this image is i'm not going to remove blemishes or uh, take stuff out as you can see the soft box over up here in the in the video and this and then and this flower over here i'm just going to do a basic edit um, you guys let me know down in the comments section if you like to me to do a full-on edit because usually you can the same things you can get away with in Lightroom and then you want to take do the rest in Photoshop but um, I've realized that there's a lot you can actually do in, in, in Lightroom like you can actually do a whole edit in Lightroom and not having to take it to Photoshop to go do any um, um, skin smoothening or removal of blemishes or everything so let me know in the comment section if you like to uh, let me to do a video um, on that as well so let's jump right into this edit so this is how the image looks after I'm done editing This is how it looks, and this is it not edited. So first and foremost, I'm going to straighten the image a little bit. Okay, and so usually I'm going to I'll do a whitening of teeth and everything. So go here. So I'm using Lightroom Classic, that's ideal. And I go to saturation and then I reduce the saturation a bit and then I just paint over the teeth to get it to look a little bit more white. Here we go. And also the eyes, just a little bit. Just to give it that little pop and make it more white. So after that, I'll come in and increase the whites and the highlights. So as you can see, it already looks white. Okay, so quick, quick, quick edit reduce my highlights a bit increase my exposure bring in the blacks increase my whites give you a little vibrance let's say five or six come down all the way here to the hsl um, color slider and i'm gonna keep the oranges to minus three come down here my reds, I increase the reds a bit because reds and oranges tend to affect our skin tones, our dark skin tones a bit. And this is what I usually do. I reduce my yellows all the way down. Reduce my yellows and reduce my oranges a little bit as well. Um, give the greens a pop and come down here. And I would 
give the luminance or increase the luminance on the orange that affects the skin tones when you pull it down to negative it becomes darker and then when you increase it you give it more lum luminance the skin tones pops a little bit and they when you increase the luminance on the yellow it affects the whole entire background as well makes the colors pop a little bit more so that's about it and i come down here the um, the sharpening is okay i'll give noise a 10 i give noise a 10 and i would enable profile corrections always to see what it does it always gives the removes some vignetting at the edges of the images and i'll give grain uh, let's say 15 yeah so i come all the way here to the color the calibration panel and i'll adjust you can come here a bit my green saturation and let's see no let's let's increase this and then my blue primary i'll give it a pop a little bit let's see nope it's a little bit here and it's okay so this is a before and after before and after as you can see okay so we go up here again to the split toning this is where the magic happens in terms of getting the white to look a little more whiter so to affect the whites you have to make them look add a little more blues into your whites if that makes any sense but that's what i've realized works so usually it's sort of like a teal and orange kind of effect so when i come here the highlights i move the highlights to around the teal um, a little bit of the blues and then i increase this and see so this has gone too far to the so bring it to the blues a little bit and then i increase my shadows so keep the shadows here still the hue and the orange and then probably a three yes and increase give it the blues a bit yes you see it affects the whole image i'm gonna come here and nope okay this is a, this is ideal so you're taking your image from this to this see how the whites have already been dramatically affected so i'm going to reduce the highlights a bit and the image since it looks a little blown out and drag my blacks in a little bit okay so as you can see some of the yellow yellows are out so usually when i reduce the yellows in my image to give to make them very clean after i'm done i would paint the yellows i want back into my image so what i would do is go back here into uh, pick the brush um go to saturation now i would increase my saturation and i'll paint my image paints so any color that i have reduced the saturation in my image with this brush and saturation i'll paint them back into my image so most importantly the yellows are going to pop again so where they are yellows i'm going to paint them and make them more pop since i already reduced the general saturation of the yellows in my image as you can see so i'm just going to do a rough paint nothing to intricate so you can see the general idea so I'm going to paint all over this. You see how it's bringing the colors back into. Yes. So basically, this is what we have. This is what we have. As you can see. So if you want to uh, paint the colors in the, the decor back, bring the yellows in there too. You can do same. So basically, this is how I separate 
let's say if i want to reduce an um, a particular color in an image this is how i do it out reduce the saturation of that image then i'll paint it right back into the image so this is how the image looks so let's do this a before and after before and after quick edit of um this beautiful image right here so this is how i get my images to look clean and pop so the whites that you would are in the images make it more whiter for example the eyes the the teeth and then if you have white background anything that's white the outfits this is what i would do so for instance if um sebastian's shirt or his outfit was um was white but some colors who have been um, you know how when you are in a room and the ambience the sound the lights will leak will leak into your shirt so it would, it would reflect a different color into the shirt that's typically what i'll do i'll just go pick your saturation your brush reduce the saturation and then paint it out the color you want out of the 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 shirt i guess i would i would do another um video um if you guys want another video of how i would treat another image do let me know so basically this is how i i handle an image so um i'll just copy this and um show you on another image so this is another image um same settings basically i just paste and then here you go so this has a little more blue so i'm going to increase the temperature a little bit so basically so as you can see this one too the yellows are gone so let me show you same thing yellows are gone so i, I would zoom in paint saturation increase my saturation and then just paint the yellows back into my to her dress basically to bring it back to the uh, its original color so as you can see the yellows are back and we're gonna bring the yellows back into this nice frame mirror frame right here as well as you can see yeah voila exactly so this as clean as you get so guys if you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe we ask it helps more people get to see contents like this and hit the bell icon and so that you'll be notified anytime i put up a new video like this so again as i mentioned let me know down in the comments if you like to see if you would like to see more edits of this sort where i take you through different let's say an outdoor um, shoot how i get those images to look clean and how i do an in-depth um, in-depth edit on in, in lightroom how i remove blemishes and everything so i think yeah i would i would i'll get a video like that out for you so just let me know if you like information like this so until i come your way again next time I don't see out